So now we are moving on to the section of the question that we have here. And it says, using the incomplete foundation and breaklines on the given information page for 2 scale 1 to 20, a detailed section on cutting plane AA of the area indicated on the floor plan, which is obviously this over here, okay, show the following features on the drawing. The complete foundation, external wall, slab, and window detail, the reef, the roof detail, including all rainwater items. So you can see that we don't actually have a rainwater downpipe here, so we do not need to worry about that drawing the rainwater items okay but you would have to draw the gutter and all the hatching detail only substructure substructure hatching may be drawn in freehand label the following the floor finishes the ground level finished floor level and jump roof course use the correct abbreviations and show them on all relevant views okay so let's get started so you can obviously see we've got our section over here and we're going to start off by just, where is my calculator now? Here it is. By just quickly finding all the correct measurements. We're going to say 160 divided by 28. Then we've got 550 divided by 20 is 27.5. Then we've got 2110 divided by 20 gives us 100. Oh, 105.5 we've got 360 divided by 20 gives us 18 370 divided by 20 gives us 18.5 okay then we obviously have the foundation already given to us and then we have got the screed which will be 30 divided by 20 so that will be 1.5 as well as this here, which will be 100 divided by 20, which will give us 5. Okay, and now we're going to get started on our section. So we know that a brick wall, um, an external wall detail, obviously always has a measurement of 222 millimeters. So we are going to divide that quickly, 222 divided by 20, which will give us... 11.1 .1. okay then we have got our full measurement here which is 15 and we'll have 11.1 .1. so we're going to measure 11 so let's just grab this here 11.1 .1. so it'll be about here okay then we've got that's our wall over there and we're going to bring that straight up to obviously get our wall. Okay. So just like this over here. All right. Then we have got obviously that in over there. We're going to grab the next measurements that we're obviously going to need. So we have got a height line going up here, which will be 18.5. So we're going to find 18.5, which is over there. And that will be, first of all, our ground level and it will also double as part of our section okay so first things first if you would like to you can start off by doing your earth hatching which is 45 degree lines as you would know okay you do not have to do it all the way across just in all of the important areas so as you can see what i'm doing is i'm just doing it where it touches another thing that way, oops, that should be this way. That way, everything that we see is sort of in the right place. So this will be here, here, and then it saves you a whole lot of time of having to hatch all of this little space. You can just come here and hatch the important bits of your drawing. Okay, got this here, and this here, and this here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we've got that over there, that over there. That's four, that's two, three, and so on and so forth on the other side as well. So, obviously, you can just carry on on the other side as well. So I'm not going to waste all of our time just hatching this, but just to give you a bit of an indication of what needs to be done. Just so that you can see, then you can see, okay, done and dusted. 
Okay, just like that over there. Now we're obviously going to measure from there to the top of our screed, which will be 18. Okay, so we've got 18 over here. But we can't do anything with that just yet because we obviously know our screed will be at the top here, which will be 1.5. So we're going to measure 1.5. Okay, but we can touch that quickly. Let's just do that quickly. Okay, but we've got our compact filling, I believe. If I'm getting the name wrong, excuse me, I need to brush up. It will be over here. And it will be halfway through the wall as well. So I'm going to do that quickly. And we're just going to quickly fill that in over there okay so it should be like that over there and then we have got all of our bits and pieces in like that and then we obviously have the last little bit which is our compact or so hardcore filling i actually can't remember the name but it gets hatched like this Okay, and then we obviously have to put in our damp proof cores, which will lie right over here. All right, so B, D, C. Okay, so now that we've got that there, we are going to measure from our screen straight up to our roof, our roof, sorry, our window. So that will be 27.5. So we're going to measure. 27.5 the whole measurement will be 10.5 so it'll be 10.5 so over here okay so there we've got the top of our window yeah yeah all right and then we've got 200 by 80 mil lintel above all door window opening so we're going to say 80 divided by 20 which is 4 so we'll have a 4 millimeters thick lintel just add that in over there just like this over here then we're going to add our dots and our stars like that all right now that we've got that in, we're obviously going to add the window in, which will be the height of the window that is obviously over here. So that will be window one. We know that the total height is 900. So we're going to say 900 divided by 20, which gives us 45. And we're going to measure 45 for our window over here. Okay. This over here that we obviously have to add in our window pane so that will be this over here and then we've got our window sill which will be this over here just a nice thin little bit over here okay and then we've got our wall as well as our compact hard filling so it will be like that and then that will obviously be little dots as well okay so so far we've got this hold in now i do want to mention that if you particularly struggle with like sections and maybe the roof or what um because i know the roof is quite complicated then draw as much as you can because you will always get marks for the stuff that you have drawn in Right, so rather get marks for the things you know than don't get marks at all. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to measure 27.5 going up. So we've got 20, what? 27. Okay, then we've got a further 8 going up like that. And then like this over here. And obviously we've got our middle point, so that will be this bit over here. And our eight is for this point over here. Yeah. 
so it should look like this so far then what you can do because now we've got all of the walls in you can make the wall lines as solid as they should be so got that there that there and down there like that as well and then we've got our middle part of the wall and this part of the wall here all right so that's our wall now we can hatch our wall as well which um i won't obviously do so i'll completely film because i think that will waste quite a lot of time but you know your hatching will follow this sort of style as you can see what you're doing here remember you're always hatching 45 degrees okay and we're not going to worry about the rest of that right now okay you know to do that all, all the way throughout the top i'm not going to do it now because i just think it's going to take a lot of time but you do need to do that okay now we want to get our roof in so we've got a schematic diagram of a roof truss cut in plane a m okay so we obviously know it's got a 20 degree pitch so what you can do is from this point here you can measure 20 degrees Okay, just like that if you would like and draw a light little line okay then we obviously want to get our wall plates in so they tell us they've got 114 by 40 millimeter wall plates so 40 divided by two, the lens here will give us two so we're going to measure two we're going to draw in our wall plates As you can see over here okay with our wall plates in we're starting to get our drawing done all right so now that we've got our wall plate in we obviously want to draw a nice ceiling so from the same height we're going to take that line across as well as the bottom line across for our ceiling and then they tell us that we have got um 75 by 50 Lens, and you can obviously see the gaps for the roof given here so it's 450 so we're going to say 450 divided by 20 will give us 22.5 and then we have obviously got 75 by 50 so we're going to divide 75 by 20 which will give us 3.75 and 50 divided by 20 which will give us 2.5 okay so now we've got 3.75 which we will measure here so we've got three and we're going to draw our line going up like that we've got granary strips okay and then sorry not granary strips yeah, we need the branding strips. I'm looking at the purlin, sorry guys. So our branding strips will be two by two. Okay, so because it's 40 by 40, so it'll be two by two. My apologies for that, guys. We are going to then measure two and then make a line and then have to crisscross. Crisscross over here. And then we've got 22.5, so we'll have 22.5, must be over here. Okay, and then we'll have the two millimeters as well on the side here. Just make sure you keep yours very, very neat. Okay, and then we'll connect that over there. Okay. Then we obviously want to get our truss in. So we are first going to find the complete overhang for our roof. So we're going to measure from here to the wall, which will be seven. So you're going to say seven times 50 divided by 20, which will give you 17.5. And then from there, 17.5 you'll have your overhang so we're going to just draw that up there for now quickly okay 
So now that we've got our overhang, we're going to find the polands, which will be, as you see here, yeah, our polands are our truss bits. Okay, so that will obviously be four millimeters. So we are going to measure. Let's just move this and see if you can see. Yeah, I'm going to move it a little bit closer to me. We're going to measure four at this point here. Okay. Draw it in. Same on this side over here. Okay. And then a line going down. Okay, so we're going to measure four over here as well. So we'll measure four. And then from there, we will draw in a bit over here. Okay, now that we've got that, I actually think this is a bit too large. I think I measured it a bit too big. So just make sure yours is the right measurement. But I can't really lean over the board to 100% check. So, because otherwise you're just going to see the back of my head. So my apologies for that. Okay, then we have got, so those aren't the purlins. What am I doing here? Large board, fascia board, gutters, ceiling board, brand ring strips. Oh, here's the roof trusses. That's why it looks smaller. Okay, 114. Sorry, guys. My brain is just not doing what it's supposed to be doing today. It's actually supposed to be six. So, how do trains match? Because this thing will stay the same. I don't know why I'm reading the wrong thing. But anyway, I guess it is what it is. Okay. We have got six. That should be over here. Very, very tight, but anyway, six. And then we have got obviously, you'll have six over here as well as six over here because it's like 5.7, so it might as well be six. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just double check your measurements and your measuring. And then our purlins are four. Well, so that would mean from here, we're going to have four. Okay. And it will be by two. So four by two. Okay. So let's just measure four going up so that we know where to measure for the future. So we're going to do this. Okay, that's a bit higher, it's a lot lower. Okay, four by two, and then we're going to draw in our pillars. So that's this over here. Okay, and then we're going to take the gap, which is a thousand divided by 20, so that's 50. So we are going to measure 50. We're going to draw in another one. Obviously, make sure to use the correct angle and ruler. I'm just eyeballing it here. You must make sure yours is done properly. So that will be like that over there. And then we will have the roof sheeting at the top, which will be 400 millimeters. So 400 divided by 20. I think 20, but that's too long. So I think it's actually supposed to be 40. So 40 divided by 20 will give us 2, so it should be 2. Okay, so then we're going to have that up there. And just a little bit overhanging over there. We're going to measure 2. And... Draw 
run across like that. So that's actually a bit too big. I think it's supposed to be one. It should be 20 millimeters. So I will have that corrected on the page, but it should be 20. So it should only be one mold. I don't know why it was a bit so big. But anyways, one mold. So it should look like that. Okay. Now that we've got that over there, we're going to put in our fascia board, which says 200 by 20. So that will be there. 200 by 20, which would be 10. 10 by 1. So that means we're going to make it 10. This one here. Okay, with a thickness of 1. Over here. Pull that up. Okay, what's it to do on this side here? Okay, and then we have got the gutter, which is 150 divided by 20, so that would be 7.5, and 100 divided by 20 would be 5, so 7.5 by 5, so it would be, just want to check something here. Okay, so it'll be 7.5 in height. Okay, and 5 in width. Yeah. And then we can draw in our gutter over there. Okay, so you can see there that is our section complete. Obviously, you still need to do your wall hatching. So please do not do it freehand, you need to use a ruler, I'm just doing it freehand so we can complete this without wasting too much time. Okay, then we'll have here, here, and here as well. Okay, and that will be your drawing complete. So I hope this helps you guys and, you know, helps you guys to realize that it is actually easy to draw a civil drawing, it just takes quite a lot of time. But yeah, I hope that this helped you.